Hello, my friends, and welcome to Storytime with Mrs. A. Today, we're going to be doing another story all about summertime and one of my favorite locations to go during the summertime, the beach. How many of you guys like going to the beach? I do. You know what my favorite thing to do at the beach is to make a sandcastle, but not just a little sandcastle, a huge sandcastle, and it has to have a moat with water in it and some bridges, and then I go and look for some shells to decorate it. I love making humongous sandcastles. You know what, if you go to the beach this summer and you make a humongous sandcastle, you should have your parents take a picture and send it to me. I would love to see your creations. So this story that we've chosen right now is called Duck and Goose Go to the Beach. Don't you just love it here, duck? Goose honked. The two friends relaxed in the early morning sun and listened to the hum of the meadow. Butterflies flitted and grass swished in the breeze. Yes, I do, duck agreed. Let's never leave, said goose. Do you think that's going to happen? Or do you think that they're going to leave? I think my guess is that they're going to leave. Suddenly, Duck jumped up. You just gave me the greatest idea, Goose, he quacked. Let's leave. Let's go away. Oh, Goose honked. Away. Let's take a trip. Goose gulped. A trip? A trip sounds far away. I like close. We could go on an adventure, Duck said. An adventure? That sounds scary, Goose honked. Come on, Goose. A hike might be fun, Duck quacked. A hike, said Goose. That sounds like a fine way to twist your ankle. Duck sighed. <sighs> he gazed across the meadow toward a distant hill and began walking. Goose followed. I will walk, but I will not hike, he grumbled. <laughs> Isn't that kind of the same thing, though? I think it is. Why would anyone want to leave this meadow? Goose wandered aloud. It has everything right here, like this stump, this hollow log, our ball, of course, the lily pond, the gurgling stream, and don't forget the shady thicket. Duck and Goose floated along a stream they'd never floated along before. They walked by a pile of stones they never walked by before and past the biggest tree they'd ever seen. They walked across fields and up and down hills. By the time Goose reached the top of the highest hill, Duck was already gazing off in the distance. What's that? He quacked. Could it be the beach? Goose honked. Duck's tail twitched with excitement. I'm pretty sure I love the beach. You've been to the beach? asked Goose. No, not yet, said Duck, and he took off the, down the hill. Follow me, Goose. We are going to the beach. Goose chased after Duck. But, Duck, we already had our adventure, he called. Wait, he shouted. Slow down, he honked. But Duck did not slow down. Goose followed him through the brambles and the tall grass until Duck finally stopped. I think we have arrived at the beach, said Duck. Oh my, the beach is loud, yelled Duck over the sound of the waves. I can barely hear my own quack. Goose stared at the vast stretch of sky, sand, and sea. Isn't it magnificent, he said. Oh dear, the beach has so much water, quacked Duck. I feel tiny. Have you ever seen so much sand, honked Goose. It's getting in my feathers and it's too hot on my feet, said Duck. Let's go. Go swimming? Good idea, Duck, said Goose, and he raced to the water's edge. I don't think I've ever seen a duck at the beach. Seagulls, yes, but ducks? No, Goose, wait for me. 
duck dipped his hot feet in the water. Goose, you know these waves are very... Oh no, look at they got munched by the wave. These waves are very fun. Is that what you were going to say, duck? Honked Goose. No, not exactly. The two friends strolled along the beach. They met the locals. Some were friendly. Others were not. Some were shy. And others were not. Goose thought Duck might enjoy searching for sea creatures under the rocks and seaweed. He did not. Be careful, Goose. You don't know what's in there, Duck quacked. They built a drip sandcastle, and they listened to the gentle roar of the ocean from deep within a shell. It made Duck homesick. It sounds just like our gurgling stream, he quacked. Later in the day, when the sand had cooled and the waves had settled, Duck and Goose relaxed. I like the smell of the beach, Goose said. Me too, Duck agreed, but not as much as the meadow. Well, there's no place like the meadow, honked Goose. That's very true, said Duck. So in the late afternoon, Duck and Goose followed their long shadows home. They talked about their exciting day and about the friends they met. They talked about the hot sand and the cool water, the noisy crashing waves and the quiet tidal pools. Back in the meadow at last, they watched the sunset. Birds sang and grass swished in the breeze. They both agreed that it was nice to be home. Duck, where should we go next? Goose asked. Duck closed his eyes. How about to sleep? The end. So did you guys like this story? You know what I thought was so cool is that in the beginning, Duck was all excited to go try on an adventure and Goose was a little bit hesitant. But then when they got to the beach, they switched. Duck was a little bit more hesitant and Goose was like, let's go. And you know what? They had a great time. You know what I love about the beach? is the sound of the waves. The waves crashing on the sand. It's such a peaceful sound, and it's really good to take a nap on the beach with that sound. And I think that the seagulls are so funny to watch. Sometimes I'll put out some snacks just to see them come flying out of the sky and to come get them. The beach is so much fun. So that's the end of our story. Thank you so much for reading with me, my friends, and I'll see you guys next time on Storytime with Mrs. A.